There is a two minutes videotape which someone made. Someone looked at all the dotted lines that I ever drew in 801 and put that in one videotape. It's a riot. It's, you see, boo, 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 boo. The sun is in my eyes Woke up and felt the vibe No matter how hard they try um, But the, the, the key thing was that I was, After that I was supposed to stay at a white wall Which I did But, but I saw a, a, a red, I know exactly a what red you saw. spot moving around wherever I might Probably the moving. spot was not red but green uh -huh. It's a well known phenomenon so you have indeed done something to your retina uh -huh. and that is the message that is sent to your brains then tell you the green after effect. It's very well known effect. And you don't even have to look to the sun. You can even do it with a light like that and stare in that light for some time and then all of a sudden look at the white wall and you see a different color. It's a very interesting thing. And physics cannot explain that. But you see, this is, this is neurology. And so it's not our responsibility to explain it. Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! We have the pendulum and we let it swing back and forth. It is a difficult demonstration. First of all, it is painful, it really is. If you know only the name, you know nothing. So it's a classic by Feynman. What is important in life is that students experience important milestones in physics, even though later they may not remember the details anymore. I mean, who can remember 10,000 physics equations? I can. Their life will never be the same. And then I say, 
All of you have now lost your virginity. That's the part they really like. Five meter long pendulum with a 30 pound object, 15 kilograms. And I hold that object on my chin and then I let it go. So if I gave it a push, it would come back higher than it was released and would be my last lecture because it would cross my scope. So now the conservation of energy would require that if it comes back to me, it can never get any higher than my chin. And that's what I do. Close my eyes, hold the object, count down, three, two, one, zero, let it go. Class is silent. And the object comes back and stops right here. Conservation of energy. Physics works and I'm still alive. With a cigarette and with light and your lungs, you can explain why the sky is blue and why it's clouds are wide. Think about it. On the scale of a human body, you can explain something of the world outside you. Isn't that cute? They've all looked at rainbows and then I convinced them that they've never really seen it. They've actually been blind. When they looked at the rainbow, they have been, they don't realize it, but they were blind. And I opened their eyes. You measure the student standing up, then I lie down the student horizontally and I measure again the length. And then the person it's very roughly two centimeters longer. It's a lot. So when you stand up, it is gravity that makes you shorter. They, they had bad teachers, so they carry on the bad teaching. It is just, you know, it goes on from father to son, from son to so on. They are criminals because they miss golden opportunities and make it dull and boring. And so people begin to hate physics and that stays with them for the rest of their lives. Then they even make the mistake to think that physics is difficult. Absolutely not true. We have an obligation to explain it to the men on the street in a way that they can still sort of get an idea. So you have to find analogies to make them see what the importance of certain discoveries is. Without quantum mechanics, without special relativity, without general relativity, you wouldn't have cell phones today. You wouldn't have GPS today. You wouldn't have television today. You wouldn't have radio today. So the pioneering contributions in physics have changed your life dramatically.